In geometry, a Schlegel diagram is a projection of a polytope from into through a point beyond one of its facets or faces. The resulting entity is a polytopal subdivision of the facet in that is combinatorially equivalent to the original polytope, named for Victor Schlegel, who in 1886 introduced this tool for studying combinatorial and topological properties of polytopes. In dimensions 3 and 4, a Schlegel diagram is a projection of a polyhedron into a plane figure and a projection of a 4 polytope to 3 space, respectively. As such, Schlegel diagrams are commonly used as a means of visualizing four-dimensional polytopes. Construction The most elementary Schlegel diagram, that of a polyhedron, was described by Duncan Somerville as follows. A very useful method of representing a convex polyhedron is by plane projection. If it is projected from any external point, since each ray cuts it twice, it will be represented by a polygonal area divided twice over into polygons. It is always possible by suitable choice of the center of projection to make the projection of one face completely contain the projections of all the other faces. This is called a Schlegel diagram of the polyhedron. The Schlegel diagram completely represents the morphology of the polyhedron. It is sometimes convenient to project the polyhedron from a vertex. This vertex is projected to infinity and does not appear in the diagram. The edges through it are represented by lines drawn outwards. Somerville also considers the case of a simplex in four dimensions. The Schlegel diagram of simplex in S4 is a tetrahedron divided into four tetrahedral. More generally, a polytope in n dimensions has a Schlegel diagram constructed by a perspective projection viewed from a point outside of the polytope, above the center of a facet. All vertices and edges of the polytope are projected onto a hyperplane of that facet. If the polytope is convex, a point near the facet will exist which maps the facet outside and all other facets inside, so no edges need to cross in the projection. Examples